Today I'm here with George, who is a study abroad student here on campus. So George, will you tell me a little bit about your experience so far? Yes. Um, okay, so I'm from England and I go to the University of Chester in England. And I'm coming here, well, I've been here for one semester already and this is my second and I go home in June time. So it's like a second home to me now, basically. Yeah. What are the main differences that you found between your university in England and this university? The um, main difference is probably obviously the workload, um, the work, like the way your courses are set out and stuff. Like you have individual classes and you change, you choose new ones each semester. And whereas at home we're given, we're given like a whole year from September to May. Oh, we're given the whole year. We have to do our course throughout the whole year. We don't change throughout like halfway through. And another difference is obviously like the um, professors speaking an American accent. Um, <laughs> it's hard to understand them sometimes, but I've got used to it now. But at first it was difficult to adjust. Um, and I don't know, it's just like a different feel to everything. So it can't really explain it unless you go out by yourself. What's been the most difficult thing that you've had to adjust to? Um, going back to that, like just that different feel, like uh, like cult just culture difference, like you have to adjust to it, get used to it. Everything's different, like being in the car on the other side of the road and stuff. But going back to um, schoolwork, I've had to adjust to that and be more organized because there's more work compared to home. Like more quizzes and <clears throat> little tests in between like main projects, which we don't really have at home. So I've had to be more organized and on the ball. Um, why did you choose to study abroad in the first place? Um, okay, so we had two friends that were from America and they studied abroad at our university. And me and my friend from home, we were like, oh, we could do that and come and study in America. But he didn't really want to do it in the end, so I just, I just personally wanted, really wanted to do it. And I just wanted to see what it like, a different culture and meet new types of people. and. I thought it enriched my like future career, I guess. Yeah. Can you explain more about why you think it would enrich your college experience, or how has it enriched your college experience? Um, yeah, I think it's made, it makes you like a stronger person because you've thrown into something completely new, and you have to adapt it all by yourself. You know, I haven't got a friend from England here, so I had to do it all by myself. And it's, I think it's just made me more confident and willing to try new things so like when I'm when I get into a job and it's obviously going to be something I've never done before and no one I've met but I've already had an experience like that so I think that will help me for the future. Yeah. So if there were any students here at UNT that were thinking about studying abroad what, yeah. would, what advice would you give them? Um, I would say just just throw yourself into it and give it a go because it's a once in a lifetime thing. You're probably never going to be able to do it again unless like, you move to a different country for a job. And this is a chance when you're younger just to go on and try something new and you've got time to do it. Like, you'll, I think you should do it because it will benefit you a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.